hey guys welcome back to another video in this video i'll be showing you three most common overflow system that is used in our aquarium hobbies so before we go to that you guys must understand what is an overflow system and how do we set up an overflow system in your aquarium so basically overflow system is used for uh, where your filtration is external remaining down bottom or outside of the tank so overflow system means it should be your filter should be below so here is a chart example that the flow um, overflow compartment is outside the tank where the sum is the filtration so uh, first you fill up your your sum tank with as much water as you can and then uh, after that you just have to on the pump and the water will fill up the tank and once the tank get of uh, uh, full it will go out through the hole from to the overflows overflow compartment and the water will go through the piping overflow piping back to the sum and it will go in loop in loop in cycle in cycle only stops when when you turn off the return pump so that is one uh, overflow compartment configuration but what about um, tanks that you drill from bottom this tank is drilled from the side if you can see in the chart here so I will show you the tank that we drill from the bottom so in this uh, chart here the tanks that drill from the bottom so basically it's the same thing but you got a partition in the aquarium itself to move the water into the tank so same thing you fill the your tank your sump tank first with as much water as you can hold without turning on the pump so once you turn on the pump you uh, the water will get into the tank and your tank must already be filled at the maximum level in your uh, water level line so once it goes above that when your pump start pushing the water inside it will go into the overflow chamber and from there the overflow chamber will get filled with water and go through the uh, overflow piping back to your sum so exactly same so now you understand what is an overflow system and how does it how does it work and how to set up so to now i will show you how to plumb in your overflow compartment there are three common ways to do it to do and uh, which one is best for you you can choose so let's go to the uh, first one okay guys here are some of the parts and tools you need to build a overflow system so first we the most importantly you need a tank connector some countries call it a bulkhead so basically we need to place this uh, to secure the hole that we're going to create to let the water through flow through it without leaking elbows these valve so i suggest we use this union valve because uh, the regular valve ball valve will get tighter as time goes and you will have difficulty closing the valve or opening the valve or adjusting the flow so basically this valve will always be smooth and it, even though if, if it if it spoils you can just buy another one and change just change the middle part yep. simple as that and next we need a PVC cutter this tool is very handy everybody should need it anybody is dealing with PVC so uh, yep pretty cheap as well and of course the, some PVC pipe so for the overflow pipe we can use the normal PVC we don't have to go to schedule 40 or schedule 80 uh, PVC pipe even the normal uh, PVC pipe will do uh, that's about it so now I'll show you guys the three common uh, overflow plumbing or configuration or setup that we used to use in our aquarium let's go Number one is the Dursal Stampipe. Dursal Stampipe is the most popular uh, overflow system used throughout this hobby. So basically if you got one, uh, one output or one hole drill bottom of your tank, Dursal Stampipe is your choice. So how does Dursal Stampipe works is like this. So here is how a dorsal standpipe works. So once the water water overflows into the overflow compartment, and the water starts to race over the overflow compartment, and it will go through the elbow, and it will uh, start flowing from the uh, T and continuously going down to your something. So that is how a dorsal standpipe works. Number 
thing we should remember that a dorsal sandpipe has the probability of failing because it's really you only really have one way to uh, one way of water to go into your sump so if anything blocks this uh, section or this hole or get clogged in the pipe you're gonna have trouble in that so I suggest you guys if you have uh, if you have no choice, of course you go for dorsal standpipe. I have been using it for as well for many years and it's no issue. But if you got a chance, please try not to use this. So the configuration of a dorsal standpipe is uh, consists of, of course, a PVC pipe, a T, uh, elbow, and a, a end cap. So basically, this end cap is drilled above in a very tiny hole, probably five mm only, just to make sure you get some uh, air in so that. The system will be not in full siphon mode, it will be always on the overflow mode. And another thing is for the 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 this cap or so if if you if your something happens and the water level goes above this uh, T, above this elbow, you will get some really serious gurgling noise from this hole. So when you have that, you will know that something is blocking your pipe or something is clogging your pipe. So that is one way to see the dorsal standpipe. So next we will go to the number two. Okay, number two is the one of the most favorite and in, I usually use this for my tanks as well, is the Herbie overflow system. So basically, if you have two holes to drill or you don't have enough space and you only have two holes to drill, Herbie uh, overflow, uh, system is the best so how does it works actually there is one one pipe that will be fully submerged in water full siphon and the second uh, pipe acts as a emergency drain and also a water level control in the compartment uh, in the overflow compartment so just in case if anything happens like this PVC got blocked the water will be gurgling and enter here enter in this pipe so you guys will hear a very loud noise and you can guys uh, can come and check it so um how how to control the the flow through here is using a valve so like i said please use a union valve because if it's faulty you can just change the middle part instead of using a regular uh, ball valve which gets tight <coughs> In time to use so remember union ball off okay so um, to so this uh, this ball off acts as uh, to control the water level so just say if you are not getting it properly you can fine-tune it to let the water come until here uh, to this level so it will be trickling down in this pipe very slowly so this is just what to, to control the water so uh, that is Herbie overflow for you. Let's go to the next overflow system. And lastly, the bean animal overflow system. So basically this is the most um, safest uh, overflow system from the all the three overflow systems that I mentioned. So the first, uh, dorsal standpipe is a single system, uh, single standpipe. Uh, Herbie overflow is actually the dual dual standpipes i mean dual piping and bean animal has three three piping i call this simple bean animal because the more uh, sophisticated uh, bean animal usually uses a lot of uh, elbows and uh, and whatnot so i i i did it, i did it this style and i didn't have any issues so i don't feel like using extra um extra elbows in this section because the, we want our overflow compartment to be as small as possible we don't want it to be taking a lot of space in the tank that we'll be losing it so uh, how does this bean animal system work so exactly same as the herbie overflow system that i mentioned that one uh, pipe will be submerged fully and it will be full siphon and what another one will act as a water level controller so the third one acts as an emergency drain just in case these two pipes get clogged or something happen this third pipe the when the water reaches above the second pipe and goes into the third pipe you will hear really loud gurgling noise and you will be alarmed and you can come and check your system so basically this 
uh, bean animal system has better fail safe uh, safe fail uh, fail safe. Uh, excuse me for that. Uh, so yeah, um, if you guys got space and you can drill three holes bottom of your tank, you can use this method. Even though if uh, you want to put it side of your tank that I give you, I gave you previous the diagram, you can. But bean animal is actually the best way to go because it has uh, is safer. It's ninety percent safer than the others. Uh, overflow system that I mentioned above so I will just run through quickly again um, the bean animal system submerged uh, pipe the level between the first pipe to the second pipe must be minimum 4 inch and the level between the second pipe and the third pipe must be minimum around 1 inch so just in case this pipe goes above and the other pipe the emergency drain pipe will take the gurgling noise and alarm the owner. So that's all for the BN animal. I hope you guys understand and choose what's best for your tank. If you got any questions, please drop in the comment section below and I will glad to help you guys to set up or to, to answer any of your questions. Thank you very much.